Tally, what do you think about the new Trades Priest set? Okay, so this is what we're going to talk about. We finally know what those class sets were in the data. Were they a new mage tower? Nope. Were they new order hall type quest lines? Nope. Were they for the trading post? Yeah, boy. They were for the trading post. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, it turns out they were trading post, which I love trading post. You know I love trading post. I think trading post is very cool. I think trading post is very nice. Um, and I think it's, uh, trading post has been a wonderful in, uh, addition to the game. I think it makes the game better. I think it makes, you know, just being a player of the game more fun. I love trading post. I think these being trading post rewards was the least exciting option. <laughs> anyway, let's read this article. New class sets coming to the trading post. Now, what's really interesting is, is we were just going through the trading post now. And it is this month that we have noticed more like a noticeable amount of we would call them swapsies <laughs> of repeats in the trading post lineup right we go and look at the trading post really quickly uh we got we had uh, everything's holding alliance themed this month which is really really cool but uh fury of the fire lord was one on the first ever month of trading post which was march i think wasn't it uh, Cleftus is new. Alabaster Storm Talon and Thunderwing are new to the trading post, but have been in the shop. Uh, I feel like Spirit of Competition has been on the trading post before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, that's new, which is brilliant. That's new. That's new. That's new. Uh, this is a, an old Twitch drop and also obviously a, a, a shop thing at one point. This is a Twitch drop and shop thing. Uh, this has been on the trading post before. This has been on the trading post before. I feel like this has been on the trading post before. Qu correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay, Spirit of Competition was an Olympic thing. Okay, I take it back then. Good. But uh, everything else stands. Um, so not loads. Not loads by any mean, but... With there being three or four items on there, which have been on the trading post before, and I think four things that have been on the shop before, that's not loads, but that's more than usual. That's more than usual, right? Not loads, not too many, but noticeably more than usual. Uh, which is fine, whatever, man, I don't care. But... It's worth noting that it's on this month, the day before the trading post came out, where it, it feels like we've just started getting into repeat territory now. Lo and behold, we get this announcement. New class sets coming to the trading post. Beginning with the month of September, that's next month. And each month through December, the trading post will be introducing new transmog sets and new transmog weapon sets specific to each class. Each armor set comes with three pieces, helm, shoulder, and belt. And each weapon set comes with three weapons to match each discipline. With the exception of druids having four and demon hunters two. I guess it's going to cost less. It's going to cost less, right? Going to cost less though, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost less though, right? It's going to... It's going to cost less though, right? It's going to cost less though, right? It's going to cost less though. It's going to cost less though. It's going to cost less though, right? It's going to... It's not going to cost as much. It's just two instead of three, four compared to Druid. It's not going to cost as much. It's going to be less. Hmm. Just be 66% of like what the other ones cost, right? That's... Huh. Hmm. Hmm. You'll be able to purchase these items with any class character to add to your transmog collection. Keep in mind uh, that only the intended class will be able to use the armor set transmogs and weapon set transmogs. Armor sets will be available to purchase for 450... Oh, they are the same. <laughs> for 450 traders tender each and weapon sets will be available to purchase for 500 traders tender each. Here's what you can look forward to. So straight off the bat, these are fucking expensive. Realistically, you're only going to be able to buy like the transmog and weapon sets for one class per month, realistically. 
and they're not all coming out a month. It's three per month. So what this basically means is, realistically, you're going to have to choose which class set to buy that month because you will not be able to buy them all. And they won't always be up, clearly. <laughs> Demon Hunter subsidizing druids. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so this is coming out in um, September. We've got the Paladin set. I feel like set isn't the right word for them. I feel like set is the wrong word. Set implies a completeness, which these don't have. What's a word that would describe these better than set? Like taster or d'oeuvre? I don't know. A bundle. Okay. Yeah, like a little bundle. Like a little accessory. Accessory set. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say accessories. Yeah, I'm going to say accessory set. Edging. <laughs> uh, so, okay. So, some unknown fucking reason, they've put the priest set on uh, the worst priest wearing, like the worst cloth wearing class, which is the male uh, nightborn model for some fucking reason. When it's already got the biggest, tallest hat, and they've put it on the biggest, tallest model. Maybe it was memes. I don't know. But I think this will look much better on uh, on other models. In fairness. I don't think they've done much that. <laughs> I don't think they've done this set any favours by putting it on this Nightball model, personally. You want a set to look good? If it's plate, you put it on a human male or an orc female. If it's cloth... Probably an elf, really. Uh, they put the Evoker set on a Blood Elf male for some reason. No, that, that tracks. That tracks. Uh, that's the rig that 50% uh, of Evokers have when they're in um, Visage form. Well, I, haven't, I actually haven't seen the weapons yet. I've seen these. So this Paladin one's really good. I like it. I'm trying to think of other sets that these go with. I'm trying to think of like, you know, what... Because what does this go with? What could you possibly put with these that's going to make it work? Yeah, I'd have put a, I'd have put this on a Kul'Tyr and it'd been fun. Yeah, judgment, isn't it, I guess? And this is my thinking. I suspect that all of these are designed to be swap outs for existing sets. When I first saw these, that was my gut feeling. I get the feeling that these uh, druid ones, uh, sorry, these uh, paladin ones are designed to swap out on the Judgment set, to give you an alternative look on the Judgment set and other sets as well. They're specifically designed to fit into those sets. Would they fit the Heritage Armor? Probably not, but they're going to fit Judgment probably quite well. Uh, these are going to fit the Kul Tiran sets really well, like the uh, the kind of the, the uh, Kul Tiran robes and stuff for Priest, which is going to be great. Uh, what set is this one going to swap out? I feel like the, this is like almost Abra's set, actually. You could swap this out with. I do I do agree with you that the rogue shoulders look a bit like a mage. I think some of these sets are, are not great looking from the front. A lot of sets always look better when you turn them around a bit. So these are the weapons. So the weapons don't go with the set, color-wise. No. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are the weapons purple? Wait, 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 wait. This is the color that the weapons are coming in? The weapons don't match the set? Okay, no. Each weapon set comes with three weapons to match each discipline. So not three different colors, three weapons. So this is the color you're getting, fam. So in the Paladin's case, the weapons don't match the, the armor, which I'm sorry, that fucking sucks. <laughs> sucks to be Paladin. Sorry, dudes, that sucks. Sorry, that sucks. Um, the weapons are great. Sucks that they don't match. Sorry. And it's like, uh, they got different things on them as well, but okay, whatever. Uh, the priest weapons also don't match the priest set. Color-wise. Dear God, why? Why don't they match? They match stylistically, but not color-wise? <sighs> the rogue one doesn't really match either. At the very bottom of the article, you'll see all color variants. Oh, really? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you're wrong. Oh, and Wowhead? Yeah, but, but, but Wowhead are just showing you shit that they've data mined. 
we've seen these sets before and we've seen the different color variations of them before. But that's not what we're getting in September. Blizz is showing you right now what you're getting in se September. I don't give a fuck how many color variants they've data mined. You're getting the red and black and gold paladin set next month and you're getting the purple paladin weapons next month according to this data mining of different variants is completely irrelevant right now like because you, you can't get them <laughs> um unless blizz just fake out and and go oh shit sorry no you're right everyone <laughs> you're right it should have been the black and red and gold weapons this month sorry everyone it's not a data mine they said in the post there's variants oh my god I, i'm really sorry but i each of these sets comes in two colors, including class physics helmet. But I, mm, we previously began data mining these sets during the patch 10.1 PTR beginning with special weapon models for each specialization, not just one per class. The 10.17 PTR went further, adding special class specific armor sets to match those weapon models along with their associated in game colors. Each of the sets comes in two colors, including a class specific helmet, belt, and shoulder, as well as different weapons for each specialization. So far, though, we've only discovered that. Yeah, so that's that that's the definition of data mining <laughs> that that is in fact data mining what they've done there is in fact yes that is actually data mining sorry uh so there's nothing to suggest in this article that when you buy the set you buy different color variants of it there's nothing to to suggest that at all each armor set comes with three pieces helm shoulder belt and each weapon set comes with three weapons to match each discipline nothing about different color variants at all and if you're assuming that there are going to be different color variants because it was data mined uh i think you're going to be very disappointed i have no doubt that those color variants will pop up either in the trading post again or in game somehow 100 percent, of course they will when would why would Blizz create color variants for armor which don't find their way into the game? Never would they do such a thing. But in this case, I think I, I think they are clearly going to be the color, the color variants that have been data mined clearly will be on the uh, the trading post or in game at some point. But there is nothing to suggest that these different these things are going to come in color variants first time round. Nothing, and I think. Maybe we as, like, us as creators have to be clear on this, you know? We have to tell people this. It's, it's like, Wowhead are doing their job. Wowhead don't curate their information too much, you know? That's not their job, really. But content creators who are putting out stuff, they need to be very clear about this. You can't point out the different, it's not helpful to point out the different color variants right now because it's only going to confuse people and create disappointment there should be enough fucking disappointment that none of these fucking weapon colors match <laughs> uh stay sub for different colors or just ones that match yeah exactly exactly okay so october sets i mean these are some fucking beasts right here so i feel like this uh demon uh sorry dk set would match up with uh like current abra sets i feel like when I look at these, I can think of the sets that you can swap them out on. It's almost like they're kind of upgrades on existing sets, you know? Like they're making the sets a bit more modular. It's like, hey, you've got this set. You swap out the shoulders and the hat and the belt now. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Demon Hunter one's cool. DK one's one of the worst. No, I like it. I think it's cool. Like the flesh kind of stretched over the metal. Sweet, man. Um, and yeah, the Druid one looks like the Eternal Palace set. Yeah, exactly. I feel like for most of these, there's a set that springs to mind instantly that you could swap them out on. And if you're if you're like a main of one of these classes, I dare say you'd be able to think of it instantly. You know, you know exactly what fucking set you're going to swap out. Helm on the DK is terrible. Yeah, if you say so, I like it. Uh, what weapons are we looking at? And again, the weapons don't match. Uh, Color-wise, which is a shame. Uh, they're pretty cool. The two-handed sword is really good. Yeah, like the two-handed sword is pretty good. 
your purple two-handed sword, which isn't going to go with that set. But I, why not? Hey, why not? Uh, Demon Hunter weapons are green to go with their purple set pieces. Very nice. <sighs> well, at least we know what colors. Like I could tell you what color variants. Yeah, presumably the the color variant for the Demon Hunter set is green, right? Am I right? <laughs> presumably. Presum like I'm I'm I haven't looked at the data mining for a while, but I'm guessing that the color variant for the the uh, Demon Hunter armor is green. Oh, I'm not sure if the Demon Hunter variant has da been data mined. Okay, bad example then. And the Druid weapons, oh, a beautiful autumnal orange, which does not go with their gold and blue and white at all. Oh, this is so frustrating. Oh, this is so frustrating. Would it have fucking killed them, honestly? Would it have killed them to make the weapons match the set, colour-wise, so they just felt like more of a complete whole? Does it matter? Am I being over the top about this? Can we do a poll? Maybe I'm overreacting about this. Maybe no one else cares. That's fair, honestly. I'm going to vote, though. Because I think it matters. I'll, I'll eat shit if no one else cares, honestly. But I, for me, I think it's really frustrating that I'm going to spend 950 tendies, rip tendies, tendies ripped, consider them destroyed. My tendies are getting annihilated by buying a priest accessory set and a priest weapon set, and they don't fucking match. I can't wear, I can't transmog them onto the same tune. Like, I would feel, I would feel good about spend, personally, I'd feel good about spending 950 tendies. I'd feel okay about it. If I was like, cool, I can kit out my priest and give them a new weapon, but I can't, it's not gonna match. That's how I feel. 62% fucking landslide agree with me. Just saying. If you don't care, you don't care. And that's perfectly okay. You're allowed to not care. It's fine. It's fine. Um, slightly influencing the poll with a motive description. You could work from mainstream media. I feel like I don't care was a much more open answer that would get more votes potentially than like a flat no. I feel like it being the least specific answer of the two, it was more likely to get floating votes. So I think it's actually more telling that it lost in a landslide. Does that make sense? Uh, that's how I think, writing the poll anyway. Um, uh, having said that, the weapons are fucking brilliant, as is the set, by the way. I just wish that I could buy them on my druid and use them all at the same time. Not all at the same time, obviously. Uh, I feel like... Um, it's not a recolor, is it? That staff. It's it's. I know there's only so much you can do with moon shapes and a loon and stuff, but it does seem quite a bit like uh, an artifact appearance. I think it is a new model, right? Maybe that's Blizzard's intent. If they're different, uh, then players don't feel the need to spend all their attendees on a full class set to avoid negative feelings. Yeah, but I um I think that it, I that could be true, uh, Kitty. My argument would be that I, I would think, I actually think that's a misjudgment because you are going to feel the need to buy the transmog set and the weapon set for your favoured class, whether they match or not. And the fact that they don't match is only going to create worse emotions. I feel like the FOMO of missing out, because we don't know when they're going to be back again yet, the FOMO of missing them and not having both sets on your on your main or whatever is going to be there whether they match or not so from a kind of player satisfaction point of view it'd be better if they matched because <laughs> like no one is going to be like well they don't match so i'll just get the transmog set or just get the weapon set or a minuscule amount of people will an absolute minuscule amount of people will no one's going to do that i'll do another poll let's find out and for the sake of this poll I want you to, you can, if you want to, if it helps you, you can imagine that the sets match. If it makes it more likely that, that you know, whatever makes you more likely to vote for the second option, imagine that that's the case, okay? Okay, so here's the poll, right? I will buy both sets for one class or one set for one class. Vote for one set for one class if you intend to buy, like, 
two transmogs, one for each class, two weapon sets, one for each class, a weapon set for one class, and a transmog for a different class. Lots of different options that you could be voting for option two there. Uh, okay, well, once again, this one wasn't a landslide, but again, this was a much more specific answer, one set for one class. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, I've, I've, I've misunderstood the, the results there. No, so yeah, okay, not a landslide, but yeah, most people are buying not them matching. So I take that back. I take that back. Most people are not buying, you know, everything that they're buying for the same class. Which is fine. Okay, I understand. I understand. I take that back then. I eat shit on that one. But for me, I still think it's really disappointing that they don't match. I think weapon appearances are usually a bit more... I'm usually more excited by weapon appearances than transmogs, so I'm more likely to buy those, to be honest. Uh, it was 51% it was versus 49%. 49 votes versus 47. Pretty much 50-50, but there was a winner, so we'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, that's not a shield, that's a claw. Because no, you're right, Druids can't wear shields. <laughs> Only US Republicans would call that a landslide, yeah. Um, they come in different colours, right? Well, there's nothing to suggest that you'll be able to buy them in different colours next month. But the, in the data, there are different colours, yeah. But I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't get too excited about that because don't get too excited about data mining. I mean, we should know this by now, right? <laughs> uh, let's go down to November. Now, I feel like November's got the best sets, mostly because the Monk one is the best. Do you think they will put these on the money shop? I mean, it's possible. It's possible. They've, they haven't put anything from the trading post on the money shop yet, have they? This whole class set thing seems really cobbled together. I don't think uh, this was a deliberate design choice, more like an idea that someone had at the last minute. No, I don't think so. I think the evidence is, is not that, because there are weapon sets that match each transmog set color-wise. But they've just purposely not put them together. Like, from the data mining, there is a color variant of each set that matches a weapon set. But they just haven't put... They're not putting them on the on trading post at the same time. And we've had these sets in the data for ages. So, I mean, it's not last minute. Judging by, you know, what we know and what we've seen and how we've seen it shaping up in the data. I don't really enjoy that the class sets look so racial. I mean... The monk set looks racial, but not for any of the playable races. <laughs> I like, so, I mean, it looks like a Mogu set, right? And I think that's okay. That's cool. Yeah, it looks really, it looks really Mogu, which isn't any of the playable races. So that's awesome. <laughs> uh, but the shaman one looks very um, Zandalari. I, I, I know that. Yeah. Mage looks very blood elf. I haven't seen that one yet. Anyway. The Warlock one is an absolute fucking winner. Love that. Really, really good. The detail on these shoulders with the tongues coming out of the uh, the gargoyle faces and the fact that... Oh, no, they're not gargoyles, are they? They are um, incubuses and succubuses. There's a succubus on one side and incubus on the other side. Very fucking cool. Incredibly set. A cool set. Uh, really nice, like, hologram using fucking hood very nice are they nathrazim faces oh are they i can only see them from profile here but i was assuming that they were incubus or succubus but i might be wrong are they nathrazim are they nathrazim i'm not sure anyway the monk set is fucking phenomenal the monk set is awesome uh reckon the remaining pieces of the sets will be available to buy from the trading post next year no well like i say i think in most cases it's pretty obvious which set that already exists in game these have been designed to swap out on. And I actually think that's kind of cool. I actually think that's kind of nice. So, you know, for the classes that I play the most of, and I have the biggest collections, like, transmog-wise, I look at the transmogs, and I'm like, oh, that would work really well if you swapped them into the judgment set. So if you were wearing the judgment set, the full set, you could swap the helmet and the shoulders and the belt into the judgment set, and it would be like augmenting the judgment set, right? I feel like these are kind of like existing set augmentations. It's like when you buy a new phone cover for your phone, but it's the same make as your old phone cover, but it's just like a different color. Does that make sense? So it's like, I know the exact priest set that you would 
swap out the shoulders and helm and belt for to fit these into and it would look great. I feel like it's been designed specifically for those Kul Tiran uh, cloth sets. I don't play much Rogue, so I don't know which set this is supposed to go into, but I think it would probably fit into the, the current Avarice ones, right? And as a concept, I actually think that's a really cool idea. I actually think that's a really nice idea. It's kind of like if you buy a car and you have the option to, like, pay a bit more and get a nicer dashboard. It's like, it's like you're swapping out the normal plastic dashboard for, like, a walnut dashboard, right? You know, it's like you've augmented your, your car purchase there. You're like, as standard, it comes with this dashboard, but I decided to pay a little bit extra. I got the walnut dashboard. I got the heated seats. I got the nice fucking, uh, like rim, uh, like wheel rims, you know, or steering wheel cover. Yeah. Yeah. These are steering wheel covers. And from what I can see, and, and the, the classes that I know well, and I know their sets really well and stuff, it does feel like, yeah, they're designed to be swapped out of existing sets. And I actually think that's, as a concept, I think that's quite fun. I think it's quite cool. Uh, I, I, I can think of exactly what sets uh, the, the DK one could go into, and the Druid one. Um, likewise with the Warlock. Uh, warrior. Seems to make a lot of sense. And the warrior one is like an upgrade of, uh, of a vanilla set anyway, isn't it? The, this warrior one is like very clearly based on that vanilla set, which is really, really nice. Yeah, uh, Herod's gear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting to the hunter one. This, I don't, I, we're getting to the hunter one. <laughs> I feel like the hunter photo doesn't do it a lot of justice. Oh, uh, can I just tell you? We'll probably talk about this on the, uh, on, on the uh, podcast tomorrow. But yes, you're right. Evie fucking hates the Hunter one. In fact, her way of telling me that these sets had been revealed was storming into this room angrily to shout about the fucking Hunter set. <laughs> but we'll get to that. I think this Monk one is brilliant. I love this Monk one. I love the Warlock one. I honestly don't know which one I'm going to buy because I bet their weapons are really good as well. Let's have a look. Oh, the monk weapons are legit. Again, the wrong fucking color. Wow. One thing I will say, <coughs> I'm looking forward to this set coming out in pink. Very cool. Like the Lotus for the healing staff. Uh, a new dangly brewmaster staff, which is always welcome. And the fans for Windwalker are so good. So good. The fans are mwah, fucking legit. I wouldn't be surprised if the armor sets were originally intended for some Mage Tower-esque thing that had to be delayed or scrapped. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either, honestly. I think, um, I, yeah, I want to separate this out in the conversation a little bit, but I think despite being a big fan of the trading post, I think this is the most disappointing way to get these. Usually I'm a big fan of getting stuff on the trading post. I think in this case... This is the most disappointing way they could have given them to us. Apart from on the shop, obviously, that's always the most disappointing way. Yeah, these are really cool. These are really great. Uh, we've got... Um, these are the Warlock ones. Oh, not quite as cool as I was expecting, actually. They're fine. Okay, the Warlock weapons are probably a bit of a miss for me. As in, I will not buy them. <laughs> I will miss them, you know? Um, uh, and what's this? This is the warrior weapons. These are fucking incredible. But not... Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, in the data mining, and again, I don't I think it's very healthy to keep going over the data mining. But in the data mining, the warrior stuff is incredible. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like the least good version. Oh, look, this is the, the... I even forgot the other one. I forgot this one existed. Because... That's the color that everyone remembers, which is the one that matches the armor set that's coming. They've swapped them round. I'm sorry. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Why can't the weapons and the fucking transmogs match? We know that they've got versions that do. I find it annoying. I'm sorry that 50% of, well, 30% of you don't, but I find it annoying. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, it's a great shield either way. Uh, like with the with the the blue roses on, very cool. The swords are awesome. Two handed ones, particularly good. Yeah, great. Well, it's obvious why they're doing it. It's so that you know, if I'm a priest, there are two months where I have to spend all my attendees on priest anyway. But I would do that anyway. I would do that anyway. Even if they matched, I'd just enjoy doing it more. <laughs> Uh, and December. Okay, so, I mean, th this is the, s this would fit into, again, I feel like this is proof of my theory that they've designed these. Well, I think the proof is looking at them, right? But if you needed any more proof that they've designed these to fit into existing sets, then the Evoker set is the prime example of that, because there is literally only two Evoker sets in the game right now. <laughs> and this fits one of them. Like, there are two Evoker sets in the game, and this fits the current one. <laughs> like, to swap out the things. So there's your proof, right? Um, we'll come back to the to the Hunter one. The Mage one is... Uh, I don't... I think Mage sets never look good on human males. I think um, the obsession with showing Mage sets and cloth sets in general on human males, very stupid, should never be done. I think they always look dumb. Uh, but yeah, I think this would, I can think of the sets that this fits with. The Shaman one uh, fits with um, the Antorus Legion set. And it also would fit with BFA leveling sets as well. Uh, so like, very easy to think of the sets that you can swap those out of as well. Um, and one of the color variants of the, uh, of the Antorus set, you're going to be able to swap it out with as well. The Hunter one. <laughs> so, looking at this, do you know what's so shit about it? <laughs> like, it's a chicken, okay, which is which is great, but it looks like it's got like chicken entrails on it. Like, it's got like dangly chicken kind of giblets, giblets hanging down over the neck, which makes it look like whoever's wearing it has got a literal chicken neck. It's a hawk. Yeah, that's what they'll say, but we know it's a chicken. It's got a literal fucking chicken neck. Uh, yes, I think it's worth pointing out that we can laugh at this or we like. I think it's going to look much, much better. Uh, can we look at the data mining for this one? Um, just so we can see it in different angles, if they've got it on different angles. Doesn't look like they data mined this one. Shame. Uh, yeah, I've got a feeling that this set's going to look a lot better when it's not just facing forward. I've, I've got a feeling it's going to look really good, actually. <laughs> um, NA players call it an eagle, by the way, joking. <laughs> no, I think this all... I think clearly you don't get the, the full effect of this one when it's facing you. Preset is the worst? Oh, big disagree. I think the preset's brilliant. Big disagree on you there, friend. I think the, the model that they've put it on, the Nightborn model, is a poor choice. I think this is a very poor choice. But anything that looks metally is great for a priest. As a priest, anything that looks like, especially shoulders that look like they're made of metal, you're like, yes, give me that. Because as a cloth wearer, when you get to wear sets that look like metal, you're like, yes, love it. Uh, and the shoulders look big because it's on a bad model. You put that on a correct model, like a, a class and, and race combo, that a race that people actually play priests on, and I think it's going to look really good. Is there anyone that has a male nightborn priest in the chat? You don't choose male nightborn to be priests, do you? Let's be real. They are not a priest choice. Do you really? No, fuck you. You're lying. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm not talking about some level 10 that's been in fucking Drustvar, uh, Drustvar, that's been in fucking, like, the starting zone since, like, two years. I'm not talking about some level 10. I'm not talking about some level 41, all right, just at, you, where you don't even know what, you couldn't even tell me what zone they're in right now. No, 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 no. I mean, like, a, a thing that you actually fucking play. The helmet still looks weird as hell. Uh, let's look at the data mining for it, because that gives you a good idea. I... Maybe from the back, it doesn't look particularly good. I'll give you that. Oh, these are candles on the end. Oh, that's awesome. 
Oh, God, no, I, the shoulders are really good. The shoulders are great. The belt is great. And you will find a use for the, for the helm. But if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's perfectly reasonable. I'm not telling you that you're wrong. But as a priest main, I think it's really cool. I will be happy to be buying that next month. And I, I genuinely, honestly think that this Hunter one is going to look a lot better when you see it on your own character out in the world in 3D in real life. Yes, I admit it looks kind of shit right now. And I think, well, I mean, it is meant to be an eagle, right? I get it. But it looks like a chicken. And it's, it's the little chicken, it's the dangly chicken neck. Look, it's the fleshy red dangly chicken neck. Look. Look. It's an actual dangly like chicken neck. It's not a good choice. Oh yeah, Torrens, I think it'll actually genuinely look quite good on. Because uh, it's got a lot of kind of like feathery kind of native american thing going on for sure and the shaman one's gonna be great shaman one's gonna be cool it is thematically probably the most specific one apart from the priest one but at least like you know kind of old god tentacly stuff or is always gonna fit priest because you know of shadow priest whereas yeah the shaman is is kind of like very specifically troll like isn't it i think it's the only one that is kind of race specific but it is kind of explicitly so, yeah, for sure. Oh, and yeah, it's, it is frog, Cragwa. You're right. It is. The belt is a frog. Yeah, look at that. Hey, good shout. I did not notice that. The belt is a frog. Facing upwards. That's cool. I don't like the shaman one. I mean, it's, the, it's that old Legion set, isn't it? It's the... Uh... What's the uh, what's the raid that this is from? Is it Nighthold? The the set that this is clearly designed to be swapped out of. It's a Legion set, but yeah, it's Nighthold set. Yeah, I, I I think it's fun to have things that you can swap out on an existing set. Oh, is it the Antorus set? I think you might be right. Yeah, or is it okay? People seem to ask, split between whether it's Nighthold or uh, or Antorus, but it's definitely a Legion raid. What does the mage set go with? Oh, um, you guys tell me. I'm not a huge mage player. But I feel like that's going to fit into loads of sets. I feel like there's plenty of sets that's going to fit into. Oh, uh, and Taurus was the bear mantle. You're right. I love that. One of my favorite druid sets, the bear mantle one. So cool. One of those ones which is really weird when you see it on a worgen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no yeah the, the shaman one is uh would definitely work well with the antorus shaman set you're right yeah and uh bfa leveling sets as well yeah uh, a couple of different things you can swap those out on let's have a look at the weapons uh evoker weapons boring as fuck aren't they they're boring they're so boring i mean they whoever worked on them they, they they're beautifully made thank you but i don't know actually you know what i i take that back the kind of like the stylized dragon this is a dragon, like here's the dragon head and it's like arched over. There's the dragon tail going through the top of the staff and then the wings. That's actually really cool. I take that back. That's really cool. When you actually look at it, it's really cool. On the face of it, it's kind of boring because it just looks like dragon flight stuff. For obvious reasons, right? <laughs> the hunter ones are fine. The gun is good. A harpoon gun. Cool. Uh, and the mage... Oh, interesting. These seem to be based on the Mage Tower ones, don't they? These definitely seem to be based on the on the Mage Tower ones. I think the Frost one is great. I love the uh, the effect of the Frost kind of, you know, not traveling all the way down the uh, the the point of the spear here. I think that's really cool. And the sword is wicked. Dragonhead sword is excellent. Oh, and the Shaman weapons are legit. These are brilliant. That axe is fucking incredible. What a brilliant axe. And, the, like, the shield is incredible, too. Oh, I love that axe. Fuck, I, I, would, I would buy that set for that axe. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, too bad they don't match the armor at all. No, I guess they don't. 
so yeah, I, I think um so two thoughts. One thought I've already made very clear. I'm very personally, personally, very frustrated that they have chosen to put the opposite color variants of the weapons on the same trading post as the opposite color versions of the armor sets or the accessory sets or the augmentation sets, right? We know that there's a weapon set that matches color-wise each armor set, and I would personally have much rather that they had put them on the same trading post, personally. That's my opinion. I find it incredibly frustrating that they didn't do that. Uh, like I said earlier, though, it's less you have to buy at once. Uh, I mean, not if you, you want, like, for my main, I want them all anyway, right? Like, I want both sets of weapons, and I want both transmog recolors as well, so um, I'm going to buy them all anyway. And I would feel better about that if I could buy ones that matched next month personally which is why i find it frustrating right because i'm gonna buy them all anyway they don't have to persuade me to so i just rather they matched and i could put like you know if i've spent 950 tendies this month like getting all my priest stuff i'd rather be able to go cool now i will transmog into this new stuff and transmog into one of the weapons but i can't it's gonna be one or the other because they don't match not everyone has a full set andy Cool, okay, well, you're not going to give a fuck about buying transmogs from the, from the trading post then, are you? Um, you know, so like, yeah, it's, for me, that's incredibly frustrating and I wish they hadn't done it. I get that some of you don't care and that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy for you that you don't care. I think these druid sets, are, oh, these druid weapons are lovely. Really nice. Um, my other thought is that I think this is the least interesting way to get these. <laughs> I think on the trading post is the least interesting way to get these. I think that's kind of a shame. When these turned up in the data, and I'm a big fan of getting things in the uh, in the trading post. Usually I don't mind, but for some reason with these, I'm a little bit disappointed. This is the first time that some cool stuff has come onto the trading post. And it's the first time I've gone, I think this would have been better not being on the trading post. And that's the first time I've thought that. Nothing that has been exclusive to the trading post before. I've been like, oh, I think it'd be better if that was, you know, attainable a different way. With these ones and the fact that we saw them in the data and stuff like that, and the fact that they kind of, I don't know, man, kind of pointed towards there being class-specific quests or something, or just like, just being given them in-game because you're a certain class. Like, just going to talk to someone, maybe going to your old order hall or something, and like them going, hey, got this in the mail for you. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, challenges would have been the best case scenario. Maybe it's too much to hope for. But the, the thing is, right, with Dragonflight, generally, the lesson I've learned is if you think something is too much to hope for, it's quite often not. With Dragonflight, they've been pulling out the stops so much and so many of the surprises and... And uh, like changings of expectations have been good and have been for the better. Like if I've been surprised by something or something was not what I was expecting to be, nine times out of 10 with Dragonflight, the thing that they've done was better than I was expecting. You know? And this is the one time out of 10 where it was not quite as good as I was expecting. Nothing wrong with the trading post. Trading post is great. There's nothing wrong with putting these on the trading post. I don't think it's bad or or evil or anything, you know, cynical to put it on the trading post. I think the trading post deserves good rewards and is better when there are good rewards. And I never want to be at a stage where I've bought everything on the trading post, right? I want there to always be new things on there and interesting things on there that I want to buy. I think this is just one of those times where I was like, I think I think we could have done a bit better than put these on the trading post. That's all. In this case. Shame. But having said that, I will be excited to think but and also what's what is actually gonna happen as well is that you know, I'm gonna buy a transmog set every month. I'm gonna buy a weapon set every month. I'm going to buy my scarf cloak combo. 
that gives me very little uh, attendees left to actually, you know, where I haven't already kind of decided what I'm going to buy in advance. Where I can like look at the trading post and be like, oh yeah, wow, what's here this month? Like this, this month has actually been a really good month for the trading post for me because uh, it's pretty much the first month ever where I had no idea about anything that was on there. And it was so much fun to open up and have a look. I think that leaves you with nothing left over. Well, how, we get fourteen hundred a month, right? So nine hundred and fifty for the for one weapon, one transmog. Uh, the cloak and scarf is a hundred, I think, or is it one hundred and fifty? Our cloak scarf is oh, it doesn't tell me now. It's a hundred. So yeah, that leaves you with enough for a shit weapon. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be quite restrictive. And maybe that's on purpose. Maybe they know there isn't loads of new stuff coming on the trading post. Maybe they know that we're going to see more and more repeats from now on. Which is why they've, you know, why these class sets are coming now. 